today I will be introducing our four esteemed panelists. But before I do so, I would like to brief, briefly lay out the context for today's press conference. For the last three years, Parliament has grappled with the contradictory promises of Brexit. And many MPs across the House of Commons have attempted in good faith to find an option which allows Parliament to move the country forward. For future's sake, the organisation I represent, as well as the wider People's Vote campaign, have always been clear that a public vote is not only the democratic way to move forward, it is also the only solution to this chaos. What we must not do is to make vast decisions and cobble together an underformed Brexit plan in Parliament which will satisfy no one. Today, we are joined by four people who have been at the heart of decision-making and power for decades. It is important that we listen to their expertise, even though Michael Gove says he is fed up of hearing from them. But what has driven this campaign forward has been the energy, the passion, and the zeal, as well as the demand of young people like me that our future not be snatched away from us. Young people and students will not allow a half break Brexit to be delivered, which could severely and negatively impact our futures, especially if we're not allowed a final say. My generation is joining forces with those that came before us to demand a final say on the Brexit deal. Amidst the noise and confusion of the indicative vote process this week, there is obvious and growing momentum for a confirmatory vote on any Brexit deal agreed. To tell you more about why a people's vote is the only solution to this crisis, it is my privilege to introduce Lord O'Donnell, the former Permanent Secretary of the Civil Service, De Margaret Beckett, Labour MP and former Foreign Secretary, Stephen Dorrell, former Conservative Health Secretary, and Bob Kerslake, former Head of the Civil Service. Please give them a warm round of applause. Thank you. 